Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a um, Thanksgiving look. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit more colorful, especially for somebody like me who's like just straight neutral and warm tone neutral at that. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Um, I will try to post some more tutorials for Thanksgiving. We'll see. We do go to school the Monday and Tuesday of Thanksgiving break. So my time is like crunched. It's narrow, but we'll see. Um, I've got a whole lot of Christmas videos planned. What you see behind me is like an at home advent calendar because then picked out some makeup for me so you'll see those videos coming up but yeah we're just gonna hop on in and get started all right starting off with the morphe mattifying spray <clears throat> sorry i'm gonna use this as a primer mist and then i'm gonna go in with my tatcha silk canvas liquid canvas and put that all over my face my face is looking so rough right now but that's because i put a spot treatment on Right before I filmed so welcome to my life then I'm going to go in with the Tula smoothing primer I really love this stuff it feels like water gel cream I don't know it's just really really good you should try it out it's a great smoothing primer so I'm just going to put that all over my face and then I'm going to set my primer I've started doing this recently and it has been a game changer so if you haven't tried it you should just spray your setting spray fan it dry let it dry completely before you go in with your face products so after that's dry, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution Spot Concealer. This has salicylic acid in it, so it helps fight breakouts. I love this stuff to spot conceal my acne, which is obviously what I'm doing here. I'm just covering up all of my irritated skin that I currently have. So after I'm done covering that all up, I'm going to go in with my Becca Under Eye Corrector and correct my under eye dark circles as well and I'm just gonna let this all sit and like semi dry for like two to five minutes before I go in with my foundation so for my foundation today I'm going to go in with the Milani conceal and perfect I'm mixing two shades to get my close to perfect shade and I'm using this wet and wild beauty blender I really like this it's like three dollars y'all know I'm a big fan of the elf one um, I saw somebody talk about this one on TikTok, thought I'd give it a try. I'm a big fan of it too. I prefer both the, both the what is it, Elf and the Wet n Wild <laughs> to the Real Techniques. Y'all know I'm not a fan of the Real Techniques. But like I said, I'm just going to put this all over my skin. You can see that it's just going over that concealer super easily. It's not messing with it or anything. It just gives me a little bit more coverage in those spots that I need the additional coverage. Um, I cover my whole face with foundation, eyes, under eyes, everything, and that allows me to go in with less concealer and less product later. So, after I do all of that jazz, I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect and also the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I just put those on the inner corner and then like towards the tail of my eye to give it more of an uplifting effect, and then whatever product is like residual or leftover excess I'm going to use to conceal highlight the rest of my face so I blend out under my eyes first and then whatever products still on that sponge I'll use to go over my nose my chin and my forehead and my eyelids and that is the best way I have found to not get like super creasy or creepy from having too much concealer in those areas but also having enough coverage in the areas that you need it works for me so that's what works do what you want. Once that is all blended out, I'm going to set my under eyes with the Fenty powder in butter. Um, I really like this. It is brightening. So I feel like when I'm a little bit more fair, I can definitely get away with it a little bit easier. But I use this to set anywhere that I had concealer. Um, I will say you cannot bake with this powder. It's going to look patchy and like a hot mess. So just lightly use your sponge that's already damp to do everything. I go over my eyes to get the creases out before I set that area as well. Otherwise, you're just going to set those creases. They're going to be there all day. So after I have set the places that I had concealer with that Fenty powder, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of set the rest of my face, but really just blur the areas that I need some extra perfection face tune effect blurring action because this is that product so i'm just using again my damp sponge to press that in where i need some blurring action then i'm going to use the flower beauty pressed powder and just dust over to set any other areas but also make sure that i get rid of any excess loose powder i don't want 
too much powder in a certain area, that'll make me look cakey throughout the day. After I've done that, I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's my favorite bronzer of all time. It smells like a tropical getaway, especially since you can't go on any of those right now. You need this. So I'm just going to put that where I'd typically put bronzer, you know, in that 3B area, as most people say. Um, Y'all know I love to go heavy handed with my bronzer, so let me live my best life. But after I go in with the bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. I think that's what it's called. And I'm going to use this just on like the perimeter to give me a little bit more depth and dimension. This isn't technically contouring. It's more like bronzing. It's a mixture of bronzer and contour. Still gives you the shadow effect, um, but it's not as harsh as a contour and it doesn't look as ashy as a contour. I prefer a more warm look for me personally. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that Fenty powder just to carve out my cheekbones just a smidge. That bronzer went down a little too far. Um, I don't typically do this, but I was feeling it today, so why not? I'm gonna dust that away pretty immediately because it does leave a lot of pigmentation, you can see, um, so I don't wanna let it sit for too long. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. I really, really like this. And I'm just gonna apply that to, to my cheekbones and kind of blend it in with my bronzer. Then I'm going to set my face. This is the Milani Make It Last. And I got this big bottle at Walmart. Such a lifesaver. Um, and then I'm also going to use the same setting spray I used earlier from Pretty Vulgar. And just set really, really good. I heavily doused my face with setting spray. I think that's what makes my makeup last so long. But also what it makes it look like it's melted into the skin. Um, now for eyeshadow. Woohoo! I'm going to start off by using bronzer in my crease. If you watch any of my tutorials or TikToks, you know that's my preferred method. I think it's just a great way to start mapping out the way that you want to look to go. So I'm just using that same bronzer I used on my face in my crease with a JH30 on the top. And then on the bottom, I'm going to use a JH37. Um, the Jaclyn Hill brushes with Morphe are like my absolute favorite. I use almost everything in those kits. So after I've got that shape mapped out like I want it, then I'll start going in with my palette. Today I'm going to use the James Charles palette with Morphe. I'm going to go in with those two shades on an M513 and pack that on the outer corner and then start blending it into the crease. Um, this is going to start building into a darker shade. This is like my warm transition to get into those darker shades. So I'm going to do the same thing with a pencil brush on my lower lash line. This is just a pencil brush from Smashbox, um, but any pencil brush would do. Now I'm going to go in with that darker brown on a MAC 217, and I'm going to start packing that on the outer V, and I'm also going to use the same brush to kind of blow out the lower lash line just a little bit. I do want more of like an angled look that's just the vibe that I was going for here. So I'm packing it on in kind of like a V shape and then blending it out and slightly into the crease, as you can see. Now this is where the color happens. I'm going to go in with the orange from the James Charles palette and pack that on like the outer third of my eye, blending into that brown that I've just placed down. I'm just using a flat packer brush to do this. I'm going to really pack that color down and then I'm going to go in with the yellow and mash that right next to the orange, again on like the middle third of my eye. Um, after I've packed those colors down, I'm gonna go back in and blend them together, but I really wanna get the saturation of the colors first before I go back in and pack over with going back and forth from brown to orange to yellow to get that gradient effect. On the inner corner of my eye, I'm just mixing that white with like a pale yellow. Um, I really want it bright and white on that inner corner. And again, you can see I'm just going back and forth with all the shades to make sure that everything is super blended. After I get everything kind of where I want it and how I want it, I'm going to use that same white and banana shade mixed together to highlight my brow bone and then also brighten up my inner corner quite a bit. I am still going to go in with a highlight in just a second, but I want that really bright. Um, here, I'm just going to sharpen up my eye look with the Fenty Beauty Powder. I'm just going to pack that on with a little brush and let this sit for a few seconds. And it's going to act as like an eraser and really make that more of a wing cat eye shape for my eyeshadow. Here, I'm just using the black from the James Charles palette. 
um, and I'm going to create a wing. So I'm using my Sonia Kashuk wing eyeliner brush and I am going to create eyeliner with the black eyeshadow. I think it's super easy this way. If you mess up, it's easy to blend away um, and it's a lot less intimidating and harsh a lot less harsh than like a gel or a liquid eyeliner. So for me, it just is my preferred method, but do what you want to do. So after I've created the wing, I'm going to go in with a flat definer brush and kind of connect that wing to my lower lash line so that I can smoke it out as well. I'm just doing this on the other eye as well. Um, I start my wings by starting at the base and creating the tail. And then about three fourths of the way out, I'll draw in and create a triangle. I want to leave that outer fourth out so it can be super pointy and sharp. But if you mess up, you can clean it up with concealer. No biggie at all. After I've got that wing how I want it, I'm going to dust away that excess Fenty powder and go in with my eyeliners. I'm using the Marc Jacobs to tight line, which is the top of my eye. Um, this will help my mascara blend in. It'll make my eyelashes look thicker. And then I'm going to use the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter and Daybreak Glimmer to start working on an inner corner and brow bone highlight. I wanted a little bit more of a pop on the inner corner, so I went in with ColourPop Flexitarian. Y'all, this is so bright, I'm obsessed. And then I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize or Scandalize eyeliner. I don't know, it's a nude, super good, super affordable, and I'm going to put this on my waterline. It's gonna make my eyes look a little bit more awake. Then I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm currently trying out this primer and mascara duo from L'Oreal. Um, Y'all know I love the Lash Paradise, but this little kit had the primer, so why not try it? Haven't noticed a major difference with using the primer, but I do know with the Lash Paradise, you have to give it about a week for it to like have its full potential and live its best life. So, uh, you could put on falsies, I'm not going to, but to highlight the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Artist Couture Illuminati Highlighter. This is so pretty, y'all. I'm so glad TikTok made me pull it out. But that is the finished look minus lips, so let's do those. With my lips, I've been really loving trying some drugstore combos. So this is the Milani Automatic like Twist Up Lip Liner in Cafe Olay. I'm a really big fan of this. It's not stiff or crunchy. It doesn't like ball up or anything. It's not super dry. It's very creamy. So I would suggest trying these out for sure. Cafe, Cafe Olay, my bad is a beautiful shade. So I just draw on my natural lip line and fill in my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Um, another thing that I had for a while, and I'm so glad I pulled these back out, this is beautiful. And it's not like a super drying liquid lip. It's very comfortable. Then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in, I think it's nude, and just pop that right on the center. And that is gonna be it guys and this is the finished look looks a little bit like a candy cane or not candy cane candy corn <laughs> can't think um but it's a, like a colorful fall thanksgiving look so if that's your vibe maybe try this out let me know if you do um but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thanks so much for watching i'll try to post another one i'm like rushing out the door to get to school so anyway like i said i'll try to post another one we'll see we go to school Monday and Tuesday of Thanksgiving break. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but yeah, here we are. Love it. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one.